Welcome everyone, my name is Casey Wheel. I'm here for Stack.com talking about the three P's of being a shutdown defender. Physics, posture, and power, okay? I'm a strength and conditioning coach as well as a basketball coach and I love just making movement more efficient, more optimal, and with more speed. So the first thing to think about when we're talking about the physics of defense, okay? We're talking about how we put force on the ground. And when we're playing defense, we're thinking lateral movement more than vertical movement. We always get the highlights of the block shots and the steals but really a great defender is great moving laterally and changing direction. So the first thing we want to think of is our feet placement. Okay, so when we get our feet a little bit wider, why we do that is so when we push the ground laterally, we actually get a little bit more of the ground and we can move sideways a little bit quicker. If our feet are inside here and I push, I'm actually giving a little bit more vertical force. And if I push that way, my force is going that way. I want to give myself the best advantage to get quickly side to side. So the first thing you want to think about is getting your feet a little bit wider. That's why you think of that nice defensive stance. The second part is getting our hips back in what we call a stretch shortening cycle, or we're trying to get a rubber band effect of our body to be quick. So when our butt's back and our shoulders are forward, I think of ourselves in the tunnel. Lee Taft created that little, that, that coaching cue that allows you to think staying down. What this gives me an advantage of is now I can use my hips and my legs to quickly shift push side to side. You see it from the front view, I'm down this position. If I need to go right or left, I'm quickly pushing and getting back. Allowing my shoulders to stay down, my center of mass is now closer to the ground. That allows my legs to control it a little bit. If you think of something really tall, a little bit harder to control if you're a little bit taller up here versus being down here. So give yourself the best advantage. Get your feet a little wider, get your hips back in that stance. And now, last thing is keeping your feet active. Okay, if your feet are in this flat stance, you get those cement feet, people can blow by much easier. Get those feet active, so now if I need to go right or left, I can quickly get there, back, staying down in that nice position. These are all just going to be great ways to use physics to your advantage to be a better defender.